Whoa. This place feels even more bleak than the last hollow we went to. The ether concentration here is higher, too. Well, it has been a hollow for a long time. It's not just dangerous, it's also close to the old capital. No good will come of staying here too long. Let's just find that pile driver ASAP. The proxy said the pile driver isn't far ahead, so it shouldn't take too long to bring it back, right? Blind optimism can be dangerous, Anton. After all, the heavy-duty grappler and boring machine we found both experienced pretty significant personality changes, and Grace has yet to find the reason behind it. <laughs> so what if it's changed? It's still our own company's smart machinery. How much trouble could it really cause? Let's get going. Target located. Proceed with the recovery. This guy's dramatic! Let's find a nearby detour. Quietly. No problem, boss. I'll crouch. <gasps> Have we been spotted? Let's get him! Warning, the target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Please clench your teeth while falling to avoid biting off your tongue. Watch out! You're gonna fall into the fissure! <laughs> is everyone alright? Uh, I'm alright. We need to figure out a way to get back. machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy speculation it intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground hmm? did i just repeat myself starlight knights never get hit by the same attack twice unfortunately master you are no starlight knight <laughs> that old trick again cut it out you 
think I'm gonna give up if you push me away again? Save it, Anton. Tell it in person. <laughs> Just wait! When I catch you, I'll tear you apart! Oh? You finally understand my hobby, Sweet Pea? Abandoned building complex detected ahead. Confirmed. There is nowhere for it to go. Master, the target construction machine has been successfully surrounded. Should I broadcast some trash talk to insult it? Please choose a style. Vicious, nasty, or twisted. I can also alternate between 18 known languages. It. In Hollow Industrial Pile Driver Type 3, Friday! It's seen us. I wonder what personality this one's gonna have. No worries. We already convinced two problem children. It's time to hear what this guy has to say. It's charging at us without even a word? It. Uh... It's running? What are you all waiting for? Go after it! Uh, finally! We cut it off! Hold it there! We can't let it get away again! I'll take care of it! Yeah!
weird character traits? How dare you! Huh? Traits? Ridiculous! Mere mortals! How dare they speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission! I'm the enlightened sinner! I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge! Thou shalt leave at once! The enlightened sinner? Stabilize the seal? Ah, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. Enough! <sighs> Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow? Thou art the unreasonable ones! The seal is weak, and once it is broken, this place shall be devastated! Save me. I'll force my way through! Stop right there! My mentor, I cometh! It dies! Ben, stop him! Uh, if possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. I, I'm sorry! Great job, bro! Grace, now's our chance! I'm here! Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. But let's talk about it when we get back. Sis! The seal is breaking. Don't undermine the most wondrous cause! Wait! Let's talk! Stay away! Sh turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. Listen to me. I'm not lying. I hear the calling from my mentor horse. I can't fail him! <sighs> What's going on? Why is he mentioning that name? <laughs> I can't even remember how long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. Kaleda, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking about? When will you finish building it? Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Later. Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee. Then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute. I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liar. What? Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy... You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it! What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? 
Say something! Dad? It's so late. Where are you going? I don't want to be home alone. I want to go with you. Oh, come on, Kalita, stop it. There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. Just like that. He vanished. That liar. President? President? Uh, Ben? You were saying something? Yes. The commission is completed. Mr. Proxy came to collect their bamboo. We might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabug assigned you have been completed. We were able to get out of that tough spot, thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Phaethon. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, he made an odd face. Uh, oh, uh, would you look at the time? Uh, <clears throat> President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee for Mr. Proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the Proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We don't have to avoid it. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabox president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was Horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts, and the old man went missing. Popsec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the memorial square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. Sorry for bringing up bad memories. <laughs> That's fine. I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Koleda, how could you talk about your own father like that? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation results and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security and losing your father hurt you, but you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you... You're the one who doesn't know anything! <gasps> Uh, I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Mr. Proxy who Horse was. And Grace, weren't you and Anton working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG prototype. That's right, Koleda. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. The prototype? Could you explain? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. 
Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. <sighs> the manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back, or pretend it doesn't exist? <laughs> Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. Uh, you must be tired. Mr. Proxy, please, go back and rest for today. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. For coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. I'm glad you made up your mind. Must have been difficult. Yes. The prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So, you can talk to her about it. Uh, pr president wait! Kaleida walked away with her head hung low. There's still a bit of a grudge between her and Grace. <sighs> Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes. And that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay, then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by ether. They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. I'll skip the details. 
But the gist is the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. That is to say, the children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. What is reinforce the seal supposed to mean? Wasn't that just part of his over-the-top delusions? Unfortunately, the little one hasn't been able to explain things clearly. But from what I gather, the prototype wanted the other machines to rush to its side. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. The other two children received much less information, and the content also appeared sporadically. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that, and probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature and is likely still functional. If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you. Can I help? Is it worth nothing to feed standing by? Let's move. Hello, wise everyone with Bella Bog. Can you hear me? You're now in the hollow, somewhere near the border between New Eridu and the old capital. Don't forget, although the upcoming metro renovation project also goes through this area, public security has yet to approve any units or individuals to enter. <sighs> I never thought we'd end up back here. Uh, 
You've been here before? This was a thriving new development area before the fall of the old capital. The government and tops invested huge sums of money in construction. Even Bellabog was working on a big project in the area. But that's not important. We should start looking for the prototype. Right. Then let me explain the plan. First, we'll send the pile driver, boring machine, and heavy duty grappler to three fixed positions in the hollow. Once they're all in place, Grace will turn on the signal transmission function so each of the three machines receives the return signal from the prototype as a repeater. The strength of the signals forwarded by the three machines as repeaters will be different. Then we just have to look for a good location to decode the signal and find the exact coordinates of the prototype. Communication between us and the prototype mustn't be interrupted until we finish decoding the signal. Wise, the location where Grace and the pile driver are headed to is nearby. I'll take them there. You just need to join the others and deliver the other two machines to their designated places. Let's find the prototype using these three machines. Grace, take the pile driver. Leave the other two to us. Master, the path ahead is blocked by debris. Clearing is required before we may proceed to the boring machine. Understood. I will boss it around without mercy in the same manner my master bosses me around, and it won't dare complain. Consign any obstacle to its deadly demise, as you command! The search is about to begin! I need your help gathering all the kids at the right place. External data installation detected, analyzed, and deployed. Transmitting message from the client, Grace. Hey Proxy, I just sent you a temporary control device. You can use it to maneuver these kids. Use the device's directional controls to make the boring machine move the way you want. Our goal is to get all of them moved into position, then transmit a signal to locate the prototype. Coordinates for where the boring machine needs to go have been uploaded. By the way, the boring machine can smash through walls, but can't deal with explosives. So be gentle when piloting her. I've uploaded the data. It's up to you now. This little one has enough tonnage to detonate them. How dare you comment on a young lady's tonnage! Temporary control device deployed. Signal transfer in progress. Nice job there, Proxy. We're getting more signal feedback. Okay, same task, but this time we're controlling the grappler. Grapplers are different from boring machines. Grapplers can handle explosives but can't smash through walls. So be careful.
all three machines have been delivered to their designated locations. Grace, do you copy? It's time to start sending signals to the prototype. Roger that. The rest is up to you, my children. It's time to call your elder. Oh. I've got it! We're getting a message back from the boring machine. All three machines are receiving a signal from the prototype. <laughs> awesome. What's going on? What's that noise on your end, Grace? It's nothing, just some ethereals. I'll deal with them in a minute. Huh, it seems the high-frequency signal from the transmitter not only affects the prototype, but gets ethereals riled up, too. No, Grace, wait! I'm detecting multiple individuals with high ether activity approaching you. I'm afraid you and the pile driver may have trouble fending them off. Stop transmitting the signal, Grace! You and the pile driver have to get out of there! Don't provoke the ethereals! No can do, Sweet Pea. Didn't the proxy say we can't let the transmission be interrupted until we decode the signal? I'm ordering you to stop transmitting immediately! We'll try again after we've dealt with the ethereals! I'll be frank, Coleta. The prototype is sending a signal, but the time interval between replies is getting longer and longer. That means the prototype's communication module no longer has the power to send confirmation replies for every message. If we stop now, we won't get a second chance. The prototype's logic core is vital to Bellabog, so I can't give up that easily. Don't be stupid, Grace. It's not about whether you give up or not. You can't handle that many ethereals by yourself. Even without the prototype, we can still develop new tech. That'll have to do, Coleta. My guests have arrived. I can't greet them properly while talking to you. Wait! Don't go! Grace! Sis! Damn it! Why does nobody ever listen? Proxy, we have to go save her! Warning. High-risk hostiles detected. They are rapidly approaching Grace's location. Not good. We have to help her.
The Ethereals have all been dealt with. Grace, how's the situation? Don't worry. Communication with the prototype wasn't broken. That's not what I'm asking. I mean, are you hurt? And even a hopeless tech geek like you must have limits to your madness! You say it's for the benefit of Bellabog? If anything happened to you, even if we found the prototype, who's gonna do the research on it? Hold on, Sweet Pea. Let me explain. Oh, I don't want to hear it! Calm down, Kaleida. Grace's decision to cut off communication may not be commendable, but she wasn't acting recklessly. We were monitoring the situation from a distance, and she remained calm while fighting off the ethereals. It's precisely because of her that our search for the prototype hasn't failed. Grace knew the situation here, but things were urgent, and she didn't know how to explain it to you. I get it. I should have listened to what she had to say. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made you worry. It's over now. I'm just glad you're all right. You two actually care about one another. If only you could just be honest with each other. Proxy, we can move on to the next step in fighting the prototype, right? Let's go! Grace went to great lengths to maintain that signal. We can't let her efforts go to waste! Optimizing algorithm. Target location confirmed. Wise. Your current location is the most suitable one to amplify the signal. Wait a second. Barry and I will soon have the prototype's position. Calculating coordinates. Prototype location found. Generating a map of the area. Reminder. Since there are no working cameras in the hollow, the map was generated using street camera images from many years ago based on the coordinates. I'm sending you the map Barry has created. Got it. Let me see. Hmm. It's not very clear. I can just about make out a strangely shaped tower. Grace, let me see that. Uh, this is... What's wrong, Ben? Is there a problem with the prototype's location? President, back then, and just before the former president disappeared, Bellabog was awarded construction rights for a project in a new development area, the Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. This isn't a tower. It's a monument in the center of Memorial Plaza. What? The prototype is located in the plaza that the old man never finished? But why? I don't know what's going on, but looking at the picture, I have a bad feeling about it. The prototype's sudden appearance. It's like the president is trying to tell us something. Right. Didn't Friday say Horse was calling it? You're overthinking it. It might have brought up the name Horse, but an enlightened sinner, stabilizing the seal, it's all nonsense. But I am curious about what the prototype is doing here. We should go check it out. Finally, we found it!
The monument is just ahead. We're almost there. This is a pretty rough path, so watch your step. Anton! Let the proxy sit on the machine! Grace? Is something wrong? You're so slow. Me? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Good. If you're hurt and trying to hide it from me, you'll be in for it. Hey, sweet pea. We're family. Don't be mean. What? When I was in danger earlier, you called me sis, right? <sighs> Memories. I haven't heard you call me that since you became the president of Bellabog. Really? I didn't notice. I must have yelled it without thinking. In the heat of the moment, I saw the danger you were in, facing those ethereals, and my mind went blank. I could only think of one thing. I don't want to lose another family member. You risked your life for Bellabog's future, but as president, there was nothing I could do. I haven't been a very good president. Keep saying that and I'm going to get angry, Sweet Pea. I know better than anyone how hard you've worked these past years. You're still growing, but you work from early in the morning to late at night. Am I gonna need to be the one to tell you you're not a machine? You say you're not interested in technical stuff, but your desk is all stuffed with my well-worn technical papers. Even though they're well-written. A kid your age, I don't know. Shouldn't you be reading comics or something? Compared to you, maybe it's me who's incompetent. I said that I was doing it for the future of Bellabog. But perhaps I was just trying to salvage Uncle Horse's legacy. I thought, if you could just see the prototype in person, you'd understand what an amazing man he was. It's sad to think someone that outstanding was rejected by his own daughter. Sis... But... Ever since that day you said I knew nothing, well, I noticed some clues and started connecting the dots. Koleda, have you been hiding something about Horse? I... The night Dad went missing, I saw him leave with my own two eyes. It was late at night, and I was woken up by the sound of a phone call from the living room. I came out of my room to see what was going on, and I saw him clutching this bulging bag. He was planning to leave without saying goodbye. I had a bad feeling about it, so I ran over to stop him. I asked him where he was going, but his bag was yanked open, and I saw it was filled with stacks of banknotes. I learned later, it was the money missing from Bellabog's accounts. I had no idea something like that happened. <laughs> yeah. After that, plus the public security report? I just can't believe in him as much as you guys do. So you suffered alone all these years? Why didn't you tell anyone? Wouldn't it have been easier to just get it out? <sighs> Who knows? I guess I thought if I said it out loud, that'd officially make him a bad person. <laughs> but you're right. I do feel better. Just promise me one thing, Sweet Pea, okay? Whatever happens in the future, we face it together. Bellabog is your home. Even without Horse, me, Anton, and Ben, we are all your family. Okay, I promise. Besides, how's that saying go? Facts aren't always the truth. Maybe Horse had another reason for leaving that day. I'm not asking you to accept my point of view. But the mystery surrounding Horse will always haunt Bellabog, so we'll keep looking for answers. Right now, our priority is finding the prototype. Let's get going. Okay.